Hi everyone, uh, this is a video that I wasn't expecting to actually make, um, well, anytime soon. So, three weeks ago, I had a heart attack. Um, that's a very vague term that doesn't quite explain what happened. Um, long story short, I'm okay. I'm doing well. Um, I've got some follow-up appointments that I'm going to have to make and uh, we're going to go through everything and make sure that I'm good. But what happened was I um, well I had a viral infection that attacked my heart muscle. Um, So, I guess the story starts the week before. Um, the Sunday before, I was doing fine, everything was great, and then all of a sudden I started getting cold chills, and uh, I got a, uh, um, a high fever. Um, I laid down on the couch, and I didn't get up till the next day. I thought I was okay. Um, I got up, and I took a shower. And while I was in the shower, I noticed that I had a big rash on my right leg. Um, I didn't know what it was from. I didn't have it the day before. So I went in to prompt care to get it checked out. Um, I got in there and they looked at it and they told me that it was um, cellulitis. Now, I don't really understand what cellulitis is, but it's, uh, it was a bacterial infection in my skin. Um, probably maybe a staph infection or strep. Um, the person who looked at me, um, I honestly don't remember if she was a doctor or a nurse practitioner, um, told me that they're not that uncommon and that you know, bacteria is on your skin everywhere anyway. So um, it was just like a little cut um, and the bacteria can get into your skin. So that was the cause of my fever the day before. Um, she told me that I was lucky it didn't go all the way around my legs so she could help me. So she um, prescribed me antibiotics and sent me on my Mary. So I started taking the antibiotics and kind of went along and everything. Um, then that was Monday. Uh, Friday morning, I woke up, um, and my left arm was hurting. Now, I'm a side sleeper, so I figured I had slept funny on my left arm, and that was the cause of it. But, while I was in the shower, my arm started to hurt more, and then my chest started hurting. Um, and then I started to sweat, um which is unusual. So I got dressed. I wasn't doing well. And I told my partner that I was going to go get looked at and uh, she offered to drive me and I should have let her. And that, that was a dumb decision on my part. So I drove first to prompt care because <laughs> I didn't want to pay for emergency services. Because, you know, can't afford all of that. Uh, so, I uh, got there, and it was a little before 8, and they opened at 8. By 8.10, they still weren't open, and I wasn't doing well. Um, so, I drove myself down to an emergency room. I walked in. I walked to the desk, and the lady behind the desk asked me why I was there, and said my left arm hurts, my chest hurts, and I'm sweating uncontrollably. She uh, had me sign a couple things and waited a couple, I mean like 20 seconds, and I walked back into the room to a waiting room, and it's really surprising how fast you get to see a doctor when they think you might be having a heart attack. Because when I got in there, 
Oh, there was probably five, six people waiting on me. I get in there and they take off most of my clothing. Um, they start doing tests on me. They stick a bunch of uh, stickers on me and wire me up and uh, lay me down on uh, the gurney. So they take a bunch of my blood and uh, they look at stuff and they come back and they tell me that there are like really two types of heart attacks. Heart attack is kind of a vague term. Um, so there's one where your rhythm gets all screwy and that's, that's the one that everyone really thinks of when they think of a heart attack. Uh, that was not the one I had. The one I had was basically my heart was stressed and was in trouble. Um, and the only way it could, you could actually tell from it was from an enzyme that your heart muscle releases into your bloodstream when it's super stressed. I, th I think it's called a terpene or something like that. Um, probably should have looked it up before I started doing this video. Um, so like normal levels, I think they said something was like around like 60 parts per million or something like that. Uh, mine were over a thousand. Now the hospital I went to didn't have a cardiac ward. So they held me there for a little bit and they took a little more blood and said that if, if my numbers were going down that I could probably stay there and be, be taken care of. But if my numbers went up, they needed to send me somewhere else. Somewhere that actually had a cardiac ward. Uh, my second set of numbers went from a, a little over a thousand to a little over 1900. So a significant increase. Um, I was stable um, and the pain had receded at that point. Um, but I mean, it's not good. So they put me into a ambulance and send me about 60, 65 miles north to a bigger hospital um, that had a cardiac ward that had an open bed. Um, so I get there. The ambulance, I mean honestly the people in the ambulance, they were amazing. The people in the emergency room, they were amazing. Um, everyone I dealt with was, they were great. Um, in the ambulance, one of the, I don't know if he was an EMT or paramedic or um, what, but one of them, he, he sat there back there with me and talked to me the entire time and kind of explained to me a lot of what I'm saying here. Um, so I get up there and they wheel me through this giant hospital and I, I get to the, cardi the cardiac ward. Um, and I get in there and they have me stand up from the, the gurney and they remove the rest of uh, my clothes and they take off all of the stickers and stuff from the last place and they put all their own stickers on there and attach all these wires and other things and then they basically take me direct into a um, it wasn't an operating room, I don't think that's what they call it, but there was, it was a procedure room um, where they did what's called a heart cath. And I think it's a heart catheter, maybe, I'm not certain. Um, it was fucking terrifying, I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, all of this was done very quickly. So, in there... They lay me down on this, like, bed that has all of these things around and this machine over you. And they strap my arm down. Um, and they tell me that they're going to send a couple wires up through my artery in my right arm and send them into my heart so that they can um, release some uh, dye into my heart so that they can see what's going on in there. Um, of course, this is... Sorry, I'm kind of... I'm, 
I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to have to go back a little bit because I didn't tell you some of the things that happened at the uh, local ER. Um, so they also tell me that if they can't make it through the artery in my right arm that they're going to have to go through the artery in my groin up to my heart. So the first thing they do is they shave me, shave all kinds of parts. <laughs> yeah, I know, TMI. Um, they strap my arm down, and uh, then the anesthesiologist comes in and, and talks to me. And they don't put you under for it. They put you, they give you drugs to to calm you down and kind of keep you calm. I think I think they refer to it as twilight, where you're not under but you're not fully there i'll be honest i remember parts of it i don't remember all of it um which i think is good um but i do remember parts of it and i do remember feeling like the wires in my arm um so luckily they were able to go through my arm and not have to go through my groin because that's a, a more invasive process. Um, so they send these wires into my heart and they kind of spray in, I think it's iodine, um, into my blood system and they've got a uh, machine over me. It might be, I'm not, I'm not certain what kind of machine, if it's an x-ray or something. Um, and it's looking and my heart valves and they're looking at my arteries and everything. The good news is my heart valves are in good shape. Uh, my arteries are in good shape. I've got, I don't have any clogs or blockages or anything, um, which is all good. Um, then they take me back to the room. Uh, now I'm going to back up a little bit because I didn't tell you that at the local ER they gave me a CT scan, um, which was, you know, they, they put me on in the machine and everything and they go through and they look at my heart. I think, I think the CT uses, um, um. What is it? The, I think it uses radiation to look at it. So they looked at my heart, they looked at my lungs, and I think they looked at my liver, and I think everything there looked okay. So back up to uh, back up into the the big place. So when I was there after the heart cath, I basically sat there, laid there in a room. I was attached to um, uh, IV, of course, and of course they're taking blood constantly. Um, yeah, they took a lot of blood. I don't like needles, but I'm attached by IV and I've got so many liquids going into me. One time I look up and I think I had five different bags of different medications and and just IV liquids going into my system um, luckily like they didn't have to do open heart they didn't have to put any shunts or or balloon anything or anything my heart my heart's actually okay um, but they gave me a lot of medication <laughs> um, I can't tell you just how scary this was it was terrifying. Um, it's one of the scariest things I've ever been through. Um, it's terrible. And I'm glad that I fought my natural male instinct and uh, actually went and saw a doctor because, um, you know, it's bad. I'm 44. I've had a heart attack. Now, I haven't lived the cleanest of lives, but I am fairly healthy. But this was one of those weird ones where, like, it didn't matter who you are if you'd caught this virus, you would have had the same experience. You would have had a heart attack.
I did. I'm still processing this. This was um, a little over three weeks ago. I haven't been able to work since then. Um, I've, I actually feel good. I feel fine. Um, I'm not allowed to do much right now. Um, they've got me on a bunch of different pills. I think most of them might be kind of like prophylactic, but uh, we'll see. Um, and I've, I'm on a low sodium diet at the moment, which honestly doesn't change my diet that much. We make almost everything from scratch here anyway, so most of what we make is pretty low sodium. Um, my life is going to change, has been changing. Um, Definitely going to be eating a little healthier, although, I mean, we, we like I said, we make almost everything from scratch, so it's about as healthy as you can get. Uh, have to start exercising, <laughs> which, you know, it's probably a good thing. Um, gotta, gotta take care of myself. Probably the worst part about it is... Uh, I got to figure a way of uh, having less stress in my life, which um, kind of difficult. The scariest part: uh, the doctor told me that this could be like a herpes virus or something similar to that, where it could come back, where I could be dealing with this for the rest of my life and having these cardiac events. You know, anytime my immune system gets low, that's um, it's a terrifying thought, and it's unfortunate I won't know until it happens again. Um, yeah. Also, um, <laughs> I don't know, like when those when the bills start coming in, I have no idea how much this is gonna cost me. Luckily, I I do have insurance through my company. I do have you know decent insurance, but um, you know, the American healthcare system is incredibly expensive. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and I'm waiting on follow-ups, and those follow-ups are going to be expensive. And I don't know. If, if you've still made it this far, if you could do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. If I could start making some money off these, that would <laughs> could help pay for my medical pills. That would be great. Um... Yeah, well, I'm still good. I am. I will hopefully be starting work at some point um, when they let me. Uh, oh, I forgot. So, yeah, while I was in the bed, they did <laughs> probably the worst. The, the most painful procedure they did was probably the... Um, ultrasound of my heart so the radio or uh yeah it's a radiologist came in and she did the ultrasound and she's like got her wand on my chest and going around and she's poking and prodding and pushing and like she's pressing incredibly hard on my left nipple and it flipping hurt but <laughs> but like I said, luckily, it's I seem to be okay. Um, I know this this video is a little rambly, but anytime you're talking about something like this, I, th I think it just is rambly. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing some more videos because uh, i got to lower my stress, and actually making videos is less like... I, I like making videos. It's... Um, it's kind of a stress relief for me. So expect to see more of this ugly mug. Or at least hopefully see more of this ugly mug. <laughs> um, and do me a favor. Follow me um, on all the socials and all that. 
Um, and if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask. Um, I mean, I'm still learning. Um, I don't know much about it, to be honest, but... I figured that more of us needed to talk about what that what that experience was. It was terrifying. Um, yeah, it's one of the scariest moments of my life. Okay, um, well, cheers. I hope y'all are doing well, um, and I'll see you soon.